What's going on guys, it's Danny from Slow Restoration and we are in the garage again in the Finding Fast Motorsports garage. Something a little different if you're new to the channel. I know we got a lot more subscribers here recently. Um, but anyway, we're gonna jump into this. This is obviously a 1969 Camaro. There is no floor in it. All the way up to the firewall. Here's the new floor. We're putting this in. Uh, this did come from Real Deal Steel. Um, this assembly. Um, so this video is kind of a long process. So, well, this car is a long process. This video is too. So, um, this is where we sit right now. We're going to get back to work on this and try and get it knocked out and done. Um, it's probably still going to take a little bit of time to be honest with you, but, um, it's, it's a bigger job. We've did these before, um, but we have to keep moving stuff in and out. And um, it, it's a little annoying, but we'll get it done. Um, but anyway, the footage I'm about ready to roll, as you can see, uh, it was actually back. It probably started when it was still cool out. It got warm, and then now it's cool again. So um, the scenery in the back of the garage is going to change. It's going to be a little jumpy. Uh, I just did not want to uh, put a video out of like a two-minute update of, you know, some small things I did to this car. So we kind of compiled footage over the last, I don't even know how many months, but we'll throw it all together and get you caught back up to speed. And like I said, we're gonna jump back on this project. We will do some other things in between, but we're gonna try and get this thing done. Um, the customer is actually a friend of mine and uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't and still isn't in a huge hurry, but we wanna get this thing finished up and get this thing back to him. Um, uh, again, it's getting the one piece floor, uh, one piece front floor, one piece trunk floor, frame rails are welded in. It is mini tub. We're using Detroit Speed mini tubs. It's getting a Speed Tech complete rear suspension kit. Um, the subframe is actually over there beside the Turbo GMC. It's all blasted, painted. I made videos of all that stuff. So if you want to go back and look at it, you can. I'll try and make a um, playlist of this car as we go. Uh, he did, he's kind of old school, so he did build a big block for this thing. Uh, I think it's a 454 based motor. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, we do have a engine startup stand, which we let him borrow. And he did fire it up, says it sounds good, sounds really good. Um, anxious to get it here, get it put in the subframe once all this stuff is in. And we'll get that whole subframe motor all that put back up in. The subframe, like I said, is painted. Um, it does have Willwood four-wheel disc brakes. It's got a nine inch in the back. Um, not yet, because it's not there, but we have all that. It's just waiting to be put in after I get the sheet metal work done. So let's jump into that footage and then I'll catch up back up with you and uh, we'll explain what we're doing. Back to work on the Camaro here. We did get the tail pan cut off the end of Last video, you can see we got that all cut out. Now we need to do all the cleanup. Um, I did make one cut here, and I'm, I'm very glad we're actually doing this tail pan because it was never, the quarters weren't finished uh, welded on there, really. Um, as you can see, they drilled holes in this quarter, but never actually welded it to the, the rear body panel. Um, so I made one cut, and I'm pushing, and this whole thing comes loose. They did seam seal it here, but as you can see, that's just, that's all loose. Nothing's well there at all. So we'll definitely do a lot nicer job putting this back together. You just never know when someone, you're getting into someone else's work. You can see from this side, they actually did weld, but uh, not very nice. A big old gap, and you can see how thick the body filler is on the real rear panel here. So, um... It does suck going back into someone else's work because it's not factory spot welds. It is, uh, well, usually it's not going to be spot welded. It's going to be MIG welded. Um, but you can see like up through here. So we'll have to grind all them out. There's no way of chiseling through these and saving that quarter. So we'll definitely have to cut and grind each one of these off and uh, peel that off. Um, but let's get this cleanup done. Uh, a little bit more cleanup up front. 
we will have to trim these pieces off so that we can get our uh, inner wheel well in there. And again, right here, uh, this will actually, I think I might bend these back just uh, so I can get some mock-up and see how much I'm gonna have to cut. But that wheel well is wider, so it'll come out. As you can see, the factory one, or the factory type, this, is, this one's been replaced too, but the factory type um, stopped here. So it's gonna come out to here, so we need to get rid of all that metal to make room for that. The rest of this is pretty cleaned up. Um, again, a, a little bit more here. This is actually a trunk floor drop off. Won't be in our way for the inner wheel house, inner wheel well, whatever you want to call it, the mini tub. Um, but let's uh, keep going on here and uh, get all this cleaned up and see if we can't get the inner wheel wells fit, mini tubs, and that floor up in there and fit mocked up anyway as you can see from the pile of metal here we've been kind of busy at work here cleaning all this up we got all this removed all that removed um, this was already gone we got this side cleaned up we got still hammer and dolly a little bit but um, we got the inner part at the inner rocker uh, at the end of the rocker all that cleaned up we got these cut and bent over for right now um, both sides same with this side we got this part chiseled out again i bent this part forward i'm probably going to end up having to cut that off but i might be able to use some of that for a flange to the new inner wheel wheel well the mini tub so for right now i'm going i'm just going to bend that and leave it um, we're just about ready to start test fitting some stuff here the first thing i'm going to test fit is the inner wheel wells and see if I need to enlarge anything else back here. I think I'm gonna be good. Worst case is I might have to take some of that out. I haven't even thrown one up in there yet. Um, and I did cut away. I haven't even cleaned this out. There's always road grime and debris inside these rocker panels. So um, I did cut this bad section out. I just kind of got it out of our way. I'll get a piece of metal and overlay that and uh, trace it and uh, square that up a little bit more right before we weld it in and of course vacuum all this debris out and try and get some uh, weld through primer sprayed in there other than that i think we're ready to start test fitting once i test fit the wheel wells they'll come back out and i before i even put that patch in i'm gonna throw that uh, floor pan up in here and just make sure we're looking good make sure everything uh, is what it should be and um We'll start going from there. This floor, I'm sure, will go, go in and out several times before it's all said and done. Um, but that's the way you make sure everything's right. Test fit, clamp it, check, you know, mock some stuff up, and uh, take it back out, fix whatever needs to be fixed. And that's the way the process goes. So. Here is our Detroit Speed Mini Tubs. There's that side. This side we just threw up in there just to start mocking. Um, the back here is pretty good. It needs to go forward a little bit more, but back here is all good. Of course, around there, it's really nice. We will have to uh, clean that up a little bit more, modify it. Um, this, you know, was someone already put a wheel well, wheel inner wheel well in uh, a stock one. So we this was kind of mangled. So we just kind of bent this back out of the way. We'll make that fit once we get it adjusted. Um, up front here again uh, we'll have to hammer and dolly this forward a little bit um, but I think I will leave this and use that for a flange to weld to um, that's working out pretty well um, as you can see the whole thing needs to come forward a little bit but we can't because we're hitting here and uh, that inner piece like I said needs cleaned up a little bit more um other than that it actually looks pretty good up here again i'm hitting this is probably what's holding me up the most is this piece right here and i think i might i bent them out of the way doesn't look like i'm really going to be able to use much of that factory piece at all so i think i'm just going to pop the spot welds loose here and get rid of this whole section it'll give me plenty of clearance for this and i'll just trim this down and use probably a tiny bit of it to tie back into the the new wheel well same way of course with this side other than that um here is going to be our new width for our 
This might get pulled out a little bit more when that uh, floor gets welded to it. We can probably pull this way a little bit. But we have way more room. I think he's running a 335 tire on this thing now. So it's looking good. Got these little extension pieces taken off. Pop the spot welds here. We just made a slice here. Same with this side. Um, now that's all out of the way. Um, we got this folded back on both sides. Again, I'm going to use this as a flange. We'll have to clean this up a little bit right before we get ready to start welding um, as far as straightening some of this up and uh, grind, grinding it smooth. Um, but we're definitely ready to retest fit that inner wheel weld. That we got both sides mocked up in here. Uh, they fit pretty decent. This side actually fits a little bit nicer. For whatever reason, these outer wheel wells have been uh, messed with before too. So it's not, like I said before, these cars are old enough that there's been a bunch of work done to them over the years. So I think this one's actually new. You can see the shiny metal. Um, this one I think is original. I'm not 100% sure. That's probably why it fits better. Um, who knows where this came from. So we'll make it work. No big deal. It still fits pretty good. Around here, we'll have to push up Jack and uh, just make all that fit so we can weld it up nice. Um, I did, I do see a bit of an issue though. Our, our space here, of course, here, I'll, I'll hammer and dolly that and make that fit better. We're just doing mock up now. But the space here and the space here doesn't seem to match up to what we have here. Um, this isn't deep enough. And if we take a measurement from this over to the other side, the total width inside this frame, and, and I know these aren't pulled 100% in, but it's quite a bit of difference from here to here and there to there. We'll get a measurement here real quick. <clears throat> but I have a feeling I'm going to have to cut more of that floor, unfortunately. I'm hoping the back part where they get notched the frame rails and stuff is good. Uh, the front part... As you can see, there's plenty of material there. It's just sheet metal, so it won't be a big deal to cut. Um, we're probably going to leave this flange, so I'll cut inside here, slide this down, and then uh, reattach this because this has a nice flange we can attach to that wheel well if we have to do it. I'm pretty sure we will. Let me get a couple of measurements, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on the floor itself, if we hook here, come over we're like 42 and three quarters roughly and if we go inside the car and so with that on the inside to the inside we're roughly 41 and a half that can be bent over a little bit i know you can't see what i'm doing when i do that but i'm holding the tape measure with one hand and the camera in the other so we're about 41 and a half and this was 42 and three quarters i believe take another measurement here real quick yeah 42 and three quarters so it's quite a bit off um we'll see if we can push and pull and make that work hopefully we can that, that way we don't have to cut that at all that would be really nice um they are supposed to work so i mean they've been selling these for quite a while and i'm sure if there was an issue they probably would have fixed it by now but let's uh I think what I'm going to do is pull these wheel wells back out. They're not welded in. They're just loosely clamped. We'll get the floor slid up in here. I did test fit our trunk floor drop-offs. They seem to fit pretty good, which isn't surprising because these are GM quarters. Um, of course, you know, they've been installed before, so we'll have to do what we need to to make that work. Um, but they overall fit good, so... Let me pull these wheel wells back out. We'll get the floor slid in under the car, lower the car down, and put some clamps and uh, try and raise it up and take some more measurements. Have this roughly in place. Now let's lower the car down. Obviously, it's got to be squared up. But going down. This is when I wish the quarters weren't on. Um, obviously the trunk floor is wider than the base of the quarters. So we're gonna have to actually lift this floor up on an angle, put this side in, move it over to clear this side and push it back over. 
Um, probably have to come back a little bit as we do that. Go back in and then keep uh, twisting this floor, lowering the car down and getting it getting it set. So it makes you know test fitting this a little bit more difficult, a little bit more time consuming, but it's still doable. I'm definitely glad. I'm not sure this really would have been a pain if we left the tail pan on. I knew it was going to be a fight uh, with this one piece floor all, all welded together with the frame rails to try and do with the tail pan. Um, but I'm definitely glad. Now we have quite a bit of flex here. Um, obviously, we're not going to yank on them too hard, but with that tail pan still welded on, obviously, you would have had no flex. So definitely glad that's off. There's one side up and in. We've got a jack stand under it. Obviously, you can see it's uh, really crooked there. We'll try and push it over and uh, get this side up inside also. And then we'll um, put a jack stand under that too and try and get this all leveled out. This is doable as you can see. We have this side in and this side past the roll of the quarter. Still needs to come up a little bit, um, but uh, it, I know it's doable. So I think what I'm gonna do now is drop this out, drop this back out, raise the body back up, clean all the rockers up, spray the spray through uh, primer on do around the wheel wells, clean everything up, get everything ready. We still have that patch to do on the inner inner uh, rocker panel. I did cut it out. We just have to weld the new one in. Um, get everything ready. And then once we put this floor in completely in, then we can just kind of leave it in instead of going in and out a bunch of times. All right, guys, I did talk to um, Real Deal Steel. Uh, I sent them some pictures in. As you can see here, I did scribe some lines around. I think that's where it needs to be to fit proper on both sides. It's kind of the same. Actually, we walk over here. Whoops. They're actually, normally on these mini tub cars, you don't see any of this. Um, this is actually where the shock would come through. So here's the center bushing. Here's one of the bolt holes. The other one would be here. Um, so as you can see, if it was trimmed right there, you wouldn't see any of that. So I really think that this needed to be notched a little bit more. Um, but we'll see what they say. I have it marked out. And uh, you have to tune back in to see what happens with this. So um, again, this is a kind of a, I don't want to say a long-term project, but so far it has been. I am going to try and get it knocked out, um, get this finished up get this back in there and uh, do all of our new parts. So hopefully this continues to make progress and we can get it done very soon here. But we do have to bring, actually tomorrow I have to bring another vehicle in and do some work to it. So um, it's still gonna be moved around a little bit, but we're gonna keep trying to roll on this. But tune back in to see what happens with this. But uh, either way, this is a nice piece. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.